Hello there, we're gonna play the challenge Light and Shadow, tutorial 4 of Legends of Runeterra. Light and Shadow. It's locks against set. Go deep on spellcasting with powerful burst spells and learn how saving your mana works. Okay, let's do it. So, Light and Shadow. Burst spells, spell mana, these are some important words here. For justice and all things bright. That is Lux. You drew a spell. Spells are powerful cards that can turn the tide of a battle or an entire match. This spell has three mana. It's burst speed. You can see that here again. This is the name, the size of action, and the effect is Drow 2. It's from the region Demacia, and it's a normal card. That's all you can see right here. Spell speed. Burst spells are the fastest spells in the games. They, don't, they take effect immediately and don't count as taking an action. Remember when you have an action and then the enemy and then you and then him and then you and then him and then you and then him or her whatever um, if you play this it's still your action you can play as many bursts as you want as long as you have the mana for it and you will still be it will still be your turn so they are very very fast okay so we're gonna cast this spell so we're gonna take it from our hand, put it on the field, it will resolve instantly. Now it drew us two cards. One is Final Spark, also a burst spell, but an expensive one for 8 mana. That will deal 6 to an enemy unit. And it drew us another card, a follower, a unit, Bright Steel Protector. And if you play it, you give an ally barrier. We're gonna play this one. It's two mana, we can do that. We cannot play this one. With three power and two health. If you hover over cards, if you right click the card, then it becomes big. And then you can hover over words like barrier. It will explain you what it does. In this case, it negates the next damage the unit would take, lasts one round. Or play. Get this effect when you play this unit from hand. So if you ever do not understand something, just make the card big and hover over it. Okay? Then, um, yeah. So right click on the card, will make it big. If you click on this icon with the left, you will see the card. Uh, splash art, we'll say. A little text and who made the illustration. Um, if you click on it with your left mouse, then you will see the actual splash completely. You can click on it again to go back to this with the name and explanation and the X, which is important to get out of there. Okay, because in normal matches you will have a timer. So you can look at it during a match, it's fine, but you cannot take a long time to do so because it will suddenly be the other person's turn and you wouldn't have seen what happened so I do not recommend that <laughs> so we're gonna play this and now we have this blue line you can see it follows my cursor I can do something with it I can target an ally so it gives an ally barrier so we're gonna target our locks just by hovering over and then we're gonna left click and she's now getting the barrier. As we said before, barrier protects a unit from the next damage it would take this round. Perfect. So she's safe. Okay. Time for this candle to flicker out. That's Zeth. We'll see about that. Okay, inspect. Right click set to inspect him. This lets you view a card's information, such as text, associated cards, and effects. Okay, so, if we do that, he will become big. So you cannot do that with your own cards alone, you can also do it with enemy cards. Obviously, only the ones you can see, not 
the ones in his hand that he didn't reveal yet. So Z is champion. If he attacks, he creates he creates an attacking living shadow with my stats. His level up condition is my shadows and I have struck the enemy nexus twice. If you click on the side here, then we see the living shadow. It's ephemeral, which means that this unit dies when it strikes or when the round ends. It's a 3 mana, but you don't have to spend that because he just creates it without any cost. So the living shadow will just be there. And it has 3 power and 2 health. So he basically makes kind of a duplicate of him, stat wise he does. So if he's gonna attack, there's gonna be two of them. Now he's defending, so it doesn't work. Now, if he defends with it, that's not gonna happen. So we're gonna attack with our both units, so both, both push them on the field. And we're gonna commit our attack by pressing the attack button. There we go. He's gonna block like this. And enemy spells. He's using a burst spell too. He's gonna protect himself, his set, with this spell. Discipline of Fortune. Here you go. Discipline of Fortitude. It's a burst spell, 2 mana, and it gives an ally plus 0, plus 3 this round. So plus 0 attack and plus 3 health. That means his set is now a 3-5. Well, the tree, tree five. If you click on this icon here, you can see what the normal card is. So it's a tree, tree two. If you click on current, we can see that because of discipline of fortitude, he got three health, zero power and three health for this round only. Okay, so that means he will kill my bright steel protector, but I will not kill his set. I will kill his Shadow Fiend, but he will not kill my locks because I have Barrier. If you press this Eye of the Oracle here, you can see what will happen. So what I just said, that my unit here would die, the Bright Seal Protector, you can see that. The card is like dead. His Z would survive, the 3 on the 5 is 2 left, you can also see that. The fact is his Shadow Fiend would die because 5 attack on his 3 health means he dies too, you can also see that. And the fact that we have Barrier and don't take the first damage this round, like let's go on it again, negates the next damage the unit would take, last one round, only the next damage, so that is this hit, it negates it, so 4 over 3. It's minus one, so she should die, but because of barrier, she doesn't, because she doesn't take the damage. So yeah, that's it. You can all see this here in the Eye of the Oracle. We're happy with this. I'm just gonna press OK. There we go, that resolves. We passed, we're gonna pass. This ends the round. It's round two now. Don't worry about the mana not being correct, it's just teaching what I have now. many faces. Technically we should be in round 6 now, but it doesn't matter right now. What matters now is that he is using Z. He used Discipline of Force. Give an ally plus 3 plus 0 this round. And you're probably confused now because he used one here that gives an ally plus 0 plus 3. So here it gives 3 health and here it gives 3, uh, three power or attack. Um, that's because you can choose, when you use this card you can choose which of the two effects that you're gonna use. The first time he chose for the defensive thing to keep his head alive, now he chooses for the offensive stat so he can make two units with six attacks so he can finish us off. If we just let this happen and do not block set, we lose the game. We go to minus two, six and six is twelve, 
12 damage on our 10 nexus is minus 2, we're 0 or less, so we, we lose. So we're gonna block, but we don't want Lux to die, and we rather would have Zed to die. Right now, they would all die. Because the 5 on the 2 dies, the 6 on the 3, I die, and this one is ephemeral, the moment that it strikes, by hitting our Nexus, it will die too. But we're gonna use this burst spell called Prismatic Barrier, and it gives an ally barrier this round. Remember that effect? So we're gonna play it on the field, and now we're gonna select uh, the blue line again, we're gonna select the Lux. There you go. So now if you look, he's gonna lose everything, I'm gonna lose 6 Nexus health, but our Lux is gonna stay alive. Buck. This is the best we can do for now. Okay. Oh, there he is. He used the spell Shadow Shift. Burst swapped two allies. So he swapped them in place. So that means his set will still stay alive and his clone will die instead. We can see that here. Too bad. It's smart of him because this one would have died anyway and he still has 6 damage on our Nexus now, as you can see, and he still keeps his unit. So it's a very good move he did there. Okay. There we go. Okay, we're gonna pass. He passes too. At the end of each round, up to 3 of your unspent mana becomes spell mana. So here's your mana, his mana. Whatever is left goes into the spell mana. Same for him. So this one that is left for him mana becomes one spell mana. The three we have left becomes three spell mana. If you have more than three left, all of that excess mana is just lost. Because you can only bank three spell mana. One, two or three, that's it. Let's light him up! Okay. Use your spell mana to cast final spark. So we got 7 mana. So this 8 mana card, we shouldn't be able to play it, but because we use spell mana 2, spells will always use spell mana first. There's only 3. We need 8. So it's gonna get the rest from the normal mana. If you hover over it, you will see that they become white. Or white-ish. So that's a total of 8, and we're gonna keep 2 mana left to do something else. So we're gonna actually cast Final Spark on Zed. You see the blue line again? We cannot only target our own people, but we can sometimes also target enemies. Into there we go. Darkness. Zed is dead. Lux also levels up. And now we need to help Lux defeat the Order of the Shadow. They have 10 health, Nexus health, we have 4. It's important, we can attack now. For justice and, all things and Lux, if she attacks, create a final spark in this case. A leveled up Lux. There we go, we create another final spark, we can use the next round. There we go, there's nothing we can do. We have 3 mana on this one, 8 on that, we only have 2. But we're gonna make that go into overflow and into our spell mana. If he stops now, then he's gonna have 3 spell mana and 0 mana. And then next turn, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, because we're around 8 then. He's gonna have 8 mana and 3 spell mana, so a total of 11. We're gonna have 8 plus 2, which is 10. Which is still not enough to play both of these. Okay, pass. Round 8. We are gonna play the Bright Steel Protector. I think. Let's first see what this is. Let's first draw two. Okay, let's see what we got. We can do a bunch of things now. But he's attacking, so we're gonna attack uh, protect our locks. We're gonna play the Bright Steel protector unit, play, give an ally barrier, we're gonna assign the Lux to the barrier so she doesn't die. Now we can block with it, we'll also block the other one. 
Because if we don't, we lose the game. You see? Zero, we lose. So we have to block it. We could barrier or ally if we want to. And let's just do it. Yeah. That way she will survive too. His units will die. Power survive. Maybe it was a mistake, maybe not. We'll see. And let's try Citriot too. Yeah. She's one mana. Got one left that will go to the overflow. He's got five left. But this mana, spell mana, is already full. So he will just lose his five. It didn't use it. And okay. then. It's round five. Should technically be nine, but whatever. Now we can choose to play this one. But then he gets a turn two. And with 9 mana and 3 spell mana, it's 12 total mana, he can do a lot of things. So we're not going to take that risk, we're just going to attack with everything right now, which should be enough to finish the game. This is called an open attack. The moment you get your turn and you can attack, instead of playing a card on the field first, you instantly attack. That means that he cannot Put units down to defend, to block. It's a very powerful something that's sometimes not a good idea and sometimes a very good idea. It's up to you to choose when you want to open attack and when you don't. If we would first put a unit on the field and then attack after it's his turn and then my turn again, then we attack. And that's just a normal attack. This is an open attack, instantly go for it. Finish the game. I hope. We'll see. He gets a chance to defend himself, he can't do anything. And we win. That's it. If you have any questions, then feel free to put them in the comments. Um, or rewatch the video. And uh, hopefully, this was helpful. See you all in the next one. This was um, Challenge Light and Shadow. Tutorial 4 of Legends of Runeterra.